right now. Okay, so today we're going to talk about what the final project for this term is going to be. We're two weeks out, and I'm going to give you the next two weeks to work on this project, okay? This new project is the text adventure game here, right? I want you to create a text adventure game that includes the following. You need to include at least one method other than the main method. You need at least one switch, at least one loop, at least one array, and at least one conditional. Okay, this is your final project for the term, so you're going to do your absolute best work on this project. Now, luckily, today, I'm going to write this entire program right now for you guys to see. Okay, we're going to start from the very beginning, start from scratch. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio, and I am going to create a new file, or a new project, I want it to be a console project, and I'm going to name it Text Adventure. Okay. Oh, I already have a Text Adventure. This is Text Adventure 2. Why not? Okay. And once this loads, I will uh, increase my, my font size so it's easier to see. So, Tools and Options. And fonts and colors, and we will make it, let's make it 16. That's pretty good. Okay, is that easier to see? Perfect. All right, so here's the deal. This text adventure game, I already know I'm going to want a certain number of, of methods. Okay, because I already have a good plan for what I want to do for my text adventure game. So, I want to have a main title or a game title method uh, like we've had before. So what I like to do when I'm creating a new program is I like to think about what methods I'm going to need and then create those methods right off the bat. So I'm going to create a couple of methods really quickly. Uh, public static void game title. Okay. I know I'm going to want that. I'm also going to want a, uh, uh, a first, second, and third method because adventure games, text adventure games, you have an opening section then they make a choice, and it takes them to the next section. Then they make another choice, and it takes them to the you know next section, and so on and so forth, right? Now, bigger games, you're going to have tons of these sections that they can go to, to and from. We're only going to do three. I'm only going to do three today. So, public, static, void, first. And I'm actually just going to copy and paste, because typing takes too long. I'm going to have a... Uh, first, second, and a third. Oh. Uh, public, static, void, third. I'll go back and rename this. Second. Okay. And then I want a uh, I want a game over method it's for whenever the game's over, when the game's done. So I'm going to create that. Copy and paste. Okay, it's going to be game over, game over, and then I want a you win method for whenever you win the game, and you win. Okay, so now I have all my methods. Now I just need to fill them in with stuff, okay? So my main method, my main method I'm just going to want to call my game title method because it's just going to put my title on the screen. And, and again, you can get super fancy with the title, however fancy you want. You can use uh, ASCII art, um, you know, whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to call my game title method. And then right after that, I'm going to call my first method because it's going to jump right into the game. And that's my whole main method. Because I just want to jump right into the first, and then from that I'm going to control what the user does, right? So my main method is done. Let's do the game title method really quickly. Console.write line, you guys all know how to do this. Welcome to my game, sure. Um, and then, you know what, I'm actually going to copy, because we're going to have a lot of console write lines. Let's do press enter to begin. And then console.readline. So the game pauses and waits. 
and then a console dot clear because I want to clear out the uh, I want to clear off the screen before we go on to the next thing and then I'm gonna call actually you know what I don't even need to call first up here because I can call it right here or eh, it doesn't really matter where I call it let's call it yeah let's call it here one so I'm gonna call the first method so now we need to build the first method okay and this is when you want to start thinking about the other requirements that I asked for, right? I asked for at least one or one more method than your main. We already have that now. We have a game title method that is a different method than the main. So we already meet, met that one requirement. But what about, let's do a switch in this one, okay? So with this first method, what I want to do is I'm going to do a couple of console.write lines. Uh, let's do, let's do five. Oh. And I'll show you what we're going to do with those. Okay, we'll do five right lines. And in this, I'm going to start giving my user, uh, I'm going to start basically teaching or showing them what the game is. So the first one, you wake up in class with an angry Mr. Storm. Standing over you. Okay. Uh oh, indeed. What do you do? And then I'm going to start giving him some options. One, punch him. Why not? Why not, right? Two, cry. And three, Someone's giving me a phone call. I'm not going to answer. Three, pee a little. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so now we've given them, we've shown them the choices that they can that they can choose. Uh, it's probably a good time to, to test just to make sure our, our first couple of method calls actually work and we get somewhere. Um, oh, actually, it's going to go away pretty quickly once we hit enter. So press enter to begin, and then it's going to go away because we don't have anything waiting. Let's go ahead and put that in. So now we have we have our options, right? So I'm going to give them a place uh, to, to put in their choice. We'll do choice. And we're doing it as a right instead of a right line so that the, what they type goes right next to what their text is. And then I need a variable to put it in. So let's build a variable up here. Let's call it, uh, let's do string, we'll just call it choice, okay? Then down here, we're gonna do choice equals console.read line, okay? And we're gonna do the two lower thing because we're gonna be looking at some stuff here in a minute. So we're gonna do console.read line two lower. Makes everything lowercase, right? Exactly. Okay, and then we're going to clear the console. Okay, so now our console is going to be clear once we enter in whatever we're looking for. Let's build it and check it out again. Let's make sure our menu pops up. Press enter, and we have a menu. Great, we can enter whatever we want. Hit enter, the game goes away. Perfect, so it's working so far up to this point. Now let's go ahead and give them... Let's, let's try to handle what they entered, right? So with this, when we have a menu of choices and we want to choose, we want to determine what they've done or what they've entered and figure out what to do from then, what can we use for that? A switch, right? So we want to use a switch for this. So we're going to do a switch and we're going to base it on the choice variable. Okay. And case one. Now I'm going to do something weird here that I haven't shown you, but it's actually really, really helpful, right? So if they enter one, or if the case is punch him, or if the case is punch, then all three of those will handle this block of code. Okay, you can you can handle multi you can call multiple case scenarios for the same block of code. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some console write lines. And how many do I want? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put in five again. This is a very text heavy project. Okay. All right. And I'm going to type your fist pounds into Mr. Mr. Storm's face. <sighs> All the other students in class uh, cheer your name. Why not? Miss Storm. Here's the here here's here's the commotion and comes to investigate. Oh okay. gate. Alright. When she sees her husband crying on the floor, <laughs> crying in the corner. She shoots you with her laser eyes. Okay. Press enter to continue. 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 Hey, there we go. All right. So we want to do a console.read line so that it pauses. We want to pull the game over function when that happens, because if you punch me, your game's over. And then we want to do break so that our switch doesn't, uh, or so, so we have an escape clause from this case. All right, I'm going to run it again and make sure that part works. Make sure we did that correctly. All right, so I want to punch him. I'm going to punch. Your fist pounds into Mr. Storm's face. All the other students in class cheer your name. Miss Storm hears the commotion and comes to investigate. When she sees her husband crying in the corner, she shoots you with her laser eyes. All right, so it works so far, right? We already have one step. But we have other cases we need to handle. So let's build the rest of this switch, shall we? I'm going to do case two. And cry. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to do one, two, I'll only do three. Why not? We'll do three. Uh, Mr. Storm's face becomes the color of ripe tomatoes. <laughs> you want to cry? Do it out in the hall. He screams at the top of his lungs. Okay. And then we'll do press enter to continue. Oh. Continues. Okay. Console dot read line so that we can wait for them to press enter and then we're going to call the second method because they're going into the second part of the game and we will break okay now this next one is kind of a lot like this one so i'm just going to copy and paste my entire case here because i'm lazy and i will change it three and we will do p and we're actually going to add a new one, case, p a little. Okay. And then here we want to do, let's do Mr. Storm sniffs the air. The other students begin plugging their noses because you peed a little. You know. All right, let's do. Did you just get out of here? He screams at the top of his lungs. 
still works. Press enter to continue, read line, and we'll still pull the second, we'll still pull the second because both cases are gonna have them going out into the hallway, which is important for the next part of our story. So we have case one, two, and three. Uh, and then we have, we need our default, right? Because it's a, it's a switch, so we always need the default case. And the default, we can do, uh, we can do something like, um, let's do, I don't understand that command. Press enter to try again. Right here. Okay, and then we will pull the, we will call the first variable again. So that it just, or the first method again, so it just goes all the way back up to the first. If you wanted to, you could allow them, but... You could, but, I mean, in this in this case, we're using the, we're doing the switch. So it's, it's totally fine. We're handling it pretty well here. All right. Uh, now, it looks like I have some issues with my... <clears throat> Let's tab all of, no, that's good. Weird, okay, that just, all right, whatever. Maybe this one's extra, is this one extra? This one is extra. Okay, sorry, I just wanted to make sure everything was good to go before we moved on. All right, so our default is good. Our switch is good, and now we're done with the first. We're done with that first uh, method. Now we can go into the second method and start planning the next step of the game. Now I've already got my method, my extra method that I asked you for, and I already have my switch that I asked you for. So uh, what are the other things? I asked for a loop. I asked for what else? An array. What else did I ask for? Conditionals, if right? Statements. Yeah. So if if else statements. Is it a switch? Considered a conditional? Eh, kind of, but I'm looking for if else's. But yeah, good question. All right, in the second one, I don't want to just do another thing that I just did before. Like, I don't want to do just another switch, right? I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm actually going to have a random, I'm going to, I'm going to create an array with three different things that could happen. And I'm going to have a random pull a random variable or a random index out of that array. And we know how to do that. We've done that a couple times already. So I'm going to do random rnd equals new random. Okay. String. And we'll do second options for the string. And we will say, oh, and we will start creating. Oh, there we go. I wanted that one. In the hallway. Uh, you see that the cops are searching lockers. Some people are more worried about than others. Right? All right. Next thing. In the hallway, you see your stalker walking toward you. Okay, in the hallway, uh, the fire alarm goes off. Okay, so now we have an array with three different indexes. We have this string statement, or we have this string, this string, and this string inside of our array. Okay, so now we're going to pull a random index out of the array so that you get a different second statement every time you play the game, right? So we're going to do, we're going to do int random number equals r rnd next zero three. Okay. And then we're going to do string sec text equals 
sec options random number, right? So we've done this before. It's just going to pick a random index out of that array. Cool. <laughs> All right. Then we want to string sec choice because we're going to give you a choice here in just a second. I'll show you. All right. Now let's start putting stuff on the screen. Now we created this index with a bunch of strings in it or we created this array with a bunch of string indexes, but we haven't actually put anything on the screen yet. So now we have to output whatever's in what variable? No, what variable are we outputting? The sec choice. No, sec text, sec text right? Because that's where we put that random string. Okay, so I want to do console.write line, oh, sec text. So now whatever whatever index it chooses is going to output that string va that string value on the, on the uh, screen. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Control Z. Control Z. All right. Let's copy this. Okay. Now we want to give them an option. Do you uh, do you try to hide in the bathroom? Yes or no? Okay, so we're given the option to hide in the bathroom. Yes or no? Console dot right, and we're going to do choice. Okay. Now, We need to put their choice into the sec choice variable. So sec choice equals console dot read line. And we're going to do it to lower on this one as well. Now we want to throw our conditional conditionals in there, right? Because it's either yes, no, or they put in something random that we don't understand. So we don't need a whole switch for that. So we can just do an if else, right? So if sec choice equals yes or sec choice equals just the letter y or just the number yeah letter y sometimes people will just put in y then we want to uh, actually we just want to pull the third we just want to call the third because we want to go into the third section else if sec choice equals no or sec choice equals n. n, thank you, then we want to, we'll do a console.write line. And we will, oh, come on. And we'll say, a meteor slams into the school at that exact moment. Nope. Killing you instantly. There you go. All right. And we'll do press. Enter to continue. Console.read line. And game over. So we're going to call the game over screen, right? Because you're going to die if a meteor hits you. All right, now let's do our else. Meaning it's not yes, it's not no, it's not y, it's not n. It's something we don't recognize. We've already handled this before, right? Up here. Just go ahead and copy it. And paste. I don't understand. Press enter to try again. And instead of calling first, we'll just call second. Look good? Second method already, already done. Look at that. We're flying through this thing. 
Second method's done. Now we want to go into the third. We have a couple things left that I have not done yet. We have conditionals. We have a switch. We have an array. Right? We have an extra method. There is one thing that we don't have yet, which is a loop. Okay? So let's go ahead and implement a loop in this third method somewhere. What I want to do is I'm going to ask them how old they are, right? And I'm going to have I'm going to I'm going to do a while loop that says, you know, while age is less than say 100. Then we're going to keep telling them, "Nah, you look older than that." And have them keep entering their age until they get to 100. Right? <laughs> Something fun, right? So we're going to do let's do uh, int age because we're going to have a uh, an integer variable and that's where they can put their name. And we're going to do a console.write line. Um, you burst in, into the bathroom. Because remember, we get here because they say, we ask them if they want to hide in the bathroom. If they type yes, they go into the bathroom, right? So you burst into the bathroom and all of your friends and family, family, are there. Interesting indeed. They yell, surprise! And you remember it's your birthday. What? Yep. Worst birthday ever. Uh, best birthday. That's the one question you have? This thing's weird enough. And your <laughs> one question is, why are there girls in the boys' bathroom? How old are you today? Okay. And we're going to do console.write. And we're going to put age. Now, you remember when we tried to do the uh, age equals and then console read line? with something that wasn't a string, we try to do it with a number, it didn't work, right? Try right, exactly, perfect, bingo. Give that man a bowl of spaghetti. Try parse. So we're gonna do int dot try parse because we're parsing this string into a number. Int dot try parse console dot read line. Okay, out to the age variable. Now we can get rid of that. And these two things can go away. So now we have, we're telling them what's happening next. We're asking them how old they are, and we're giving them an option to put in their age, right? Now we can try to do, now we can uh, do our while loop. So while age is less than, 100, we'll continue to run this loop. Console.write line. Seriously? You look older than that. What's up? Who's whispering? What do we have? Do we have a question? No? Okay. We also have to. What's that? No, I was just asking about what we do next. And stuff. Yeah. So how old are you really? And then we'll give them another option to enter their age. Okay. And so that's the while loop. That'll keep going until they hit 100. Okay. Once they break out of the root, out of the loop, we'll say console dot right line. Wow. You're old. You must have been held back a lot. Right? Because remember, they're still at school. Okay, and then we'll make this the you win. They just won the game. Because they got their birthday party instead of dying, right? It's a weird game, but don't judge me. All right. Okay. So now we have all the requirements that I asked for in the game are here, 
right? Now we just need to finish the game over and the you win methods. But I'm going to test the game right now while we're while we're you know while we're at a pretty decent spot. I'm going to give it a test. Welcome to my game. Press enter to begin. You wake up in class with an angry Mr. Storm standing over you. What do you do? Let's try punching him first. Your fist pounds into Mr. Storm's face. Blah, 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 blah. Enter. Actually, you know what? Let's test it after we do the game over method because the game over method is going to loop us back to the beginning. So we don't have to keep, keep running it over and over again. So with the game over method, let's just do a console.clear. Just clear the screen. Okay. And then let's do a console.write line. Oh, you know what? I copied the wrong thing. Let's do console.write line. And we will say, at your funeral, they sing tales, uh, sing songs of your bravery. Then they remember whose funeral they are attending and they take it all back. Ruthless. Console.write line. Better luck next time. Okay. And we'll do another one. Console.write line. Press enter to try again. Okay. And then console.read line. Console.clear. Game title. So we're calling the game title screen, which means it'll loop us up to the back to the top. Now let's test it. Make sure it all works. Okay. Enter. Let's punch him in his stupid face. All the other students in class hear your name, Mr. Storm, blah, 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 laser eyes. Continue. At your funeral, they sing songs of your bravery. Then they remember whose funeral they're attending, and they take it all back. Better luck next time. Press enter to try again. And it loops us back to the beginning, which is what we want. We want a solid game loop. So now we can try other things. Two, we want to cry. Mr. Storm's face becomes the color of ripe tomatoes. You want to cry? Do it out in the hall. He screams at the top of his lungs. Press enter to continue. In the hallway, the fire alarm goes off. Do you try to hide in the bathroom? Yes or no? Let's do no. Meteor slams into the school at that exact moment, killing you instantly. Press enter to continue. At your funeral, they sing songs of your bravery. Blah, 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 blah. So you see how this is working, right? We're sending them where we want them to go, and we're reusing parts of the code for different scenarios, okay? All right, we have one last method to write. And luckily, it's almost an exact copy of this one. Because all we have to do here is just uh, change the text and then loop them back to the same place. Your birthday party was a, was a big, big hit. And we'll do a new line here. And I'm actually going to do a new line up here as well, just because it got a little crowded. The cake gave everyone superpowers. Hey, it's a win condition, not a lose condition. Okay. You, oh, you will all live for another 100 years. That's way positive. I want to live forever. All right. So let's do great job. You won. Press enter to try again. Read line clear. Go back to the game title. All that, right? So at this point, the whole pro the whole project is done, right? Um, I just did in a half an hour what you guys are expected to do in the next two weeks. Okay. What? What was that for? I mean, it's going to be simple, but 
your, I don't want yours to be exactly like mine. I want you to find new creative ways to use the stuff that I use, okay? Don't just do a, an exact copy of my program because that's going to be obvious and it's you're going to lose points on this, right? I want you to be creative. I want you to come up with your own story. I want you to come up with a, a, a cool, interesting, weird new idea. Um, use these elements in any way you'd like. Uh, I want this to be completely 100% your own, right? I just wanted to show you kind of what I'm looking for. Now, mine is really gross looking, right? At this point, the structure of the program works. Now I would want to go through and make everything look pretty. I'd want to start changing the colors. I'd want to do some artwork in the title function. I would want to start making sure all the text was where I wanted it to be on the screen. Maybe flesh it out, make it bigger, make it longer, make it more interesting, okay? And that's what I'm gonna challenge you guys to do. But let's test it one last time. Uh, let's pee a little. Mr. Storm sniffs the air. The other students begin plugging their noses. Did, did you just get out of here? He screams at the top of his lungs. Press enter to continue. In the hallway, you see that the cops are searching lockers. So notice it came up with another, with a different one than last time because we have that random array. We have that array with those three indexes in it, and it's pulling randomly from those indexes. Do you try to hide in the bathroom, yes or no? Let's, let's win the game, yes. You burst into the bathroom and all your friends and family are there. They yell surprise and you remember it's your birthday. How old are you? I'm 32. Seriously, you look older than that. How old are you really? Uh, 75. Seriously, you look older than that. How old are you really, right? Uh, I'm a hundred. Your birthday party was a big hit. The cake gave everyone superpowers. You will all live for another hundred years. Great job, you won. Notice that something happened, right? Uh, when it's... Right, yeah. So right here, when it said, wow, you're old, you must have been held back a lot, blah, 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 blah. I want a read line right here, right? Actually, we'll do a... Let's do a press... Let's do a press enter to continue. We forgot that one. So this is why we test our program, just to make sure that it actually works the way we want it to, right? So now that's good, and I'm going to save it. And now I could turn this in, but I'm not going to because I want to make it look prettier, right? But you guys get the gist. So I'm going to I'm gonna let you guys go at it, just go crazy, go nuts. You have two weeks. This is due on the 12th of October. So you have almost two weeks. You have a little less than two weeks, but you have a couple of weeks to work on this. Please do your best work. Please be as creative as possible. And if you have any questions, come let me know. Sound good? Cool. Get to work.